Fishaholic fam, welcome back to another Florida Keys episode. Uh, today we are on the Gulf side of Key Largo and uh, we're getting out to a uh, kayak fishing area that I've never been to. We're gonna explore around and uh, we're getting down to my last like day or two down here in the Keys and I'm gonna go back home and uh, kind of reset the batteries because we've been camping pretty much this entire trip to uh, bring uh, all this fishy action to you. And uh, I've also been fishing day and night. Like last night, uh, I hit it hard and uh, caught a bunch of snook, including this uh, big, beautiful brute. And uh, yeah, it's been a hot night bite and uh, day bites that we've been having to work for to get our fish, but uh, still super fun, especially when you're exploring new waters and learning a lot in the process. So anyway, let's get out there and uh, see if we can find some fish today in uh, this new spot here. Wow, it is glass out here today. And uh, I've been very fortunate with the weather this week. It's been very low winds and we've been able to get out in the kayak every day. And uh, today is probably the calmest of all the days we've been down here. And uh, how we're gonna attack today is uh, starting off by heading to the north, uh, northwest-ish, I guess. And we've got some mangroves, some docks, canals, bridges, and uh, some creeks that we could fish. And uh, Elias Fishing gave me a tip about a canal that's like a mile and a half away, or maybe two miles. It's uh, pretty far. It's like the furthest I want to go, and it's like connected to a salt pond. And uh, we're going to head in that direction, but I guess just fish everywhere in between and hope that we can get on a bite before we get there, but definitely going to check that out if we can't. All right, I'm going to start off by casting around just this little rapala right along the rocks here. It's a nice shadow line on the far side of it. Oh, what is that, a grouper? Oh, did you see that? It was a nice sizable, no, it was a giant snapper. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can get him to eat the rapala. Oh no, he's freaked out, look at him. Big snapper. Oh man. There's a fish. Little mangrove snapper. The, one, the big one we saw had to have been probably like five to six times the size of this, at least like a 20 incher. Another one. So many of them down there. And I am looking to keep some for dinner, but we got to catch them at least uh, 10 inches to keep. And I think we're allowed to keep five. I see a nice barracuda We're chilling right off this dock. I'm gonna try throwing the rapala right on his head. I think he lunged at the voodoo, but I'm glad I didn't let him hit it. Oh, there he is, big cuda. <clears throat> All right, well, we're seeing a lot of good life here in this first area, but uh, we're gonna cut across this cove to like the next stretch of docks because the sun is like blaring down in my eyes. I can't really see under the structure. So I think over there we'll have the sun at our back and we'll be able to fish more effectively. And then we've got like a big mangrove stretch that we can hit. All right, made it to the other side. Oh, Kuda, bunch of snappers. Much better that we have the sun at our back here. And as we get up ahead, we also have a bunch of little canals. Oh man, look at the size of that cuda. Ho oh, ho I'm gonna have to try and catch some of these kudas if, if they'll eat. I'm seeing a bunch of pinfish down here. We could try and catch some pinfish. We got baby barracuda, snappers. Oh my God, there's everything here. 
Uh, but yeah, if we catch like a small pinfish or any kind of little bait fish, we we'll probably live line them around and see if we can get the cuda to eat. Although I don't have wire, so like we'll probably get cut off. But we might not even get a bite if you had wire, because how clear this water is. Might have to use a circle hook and hope for the best. Hmm. Nothing on the docks over here, so we're gonna start working the mangroves. little barracuda oh take it easy take it easy dang it when he shook like that he went back and forth and cut the tail off salvageable sailboat I guess <laughs> must have had to float that one up right <laughs> no I'm good thank you <laughs> There's a snapper. A little bit bigger. All right, well that canal looked really good. There was some current flowing through there on its way in with the incoming tide, but uh, still only small fish. So uh, we're gonna beeline it to that bridge in the distance and uh, try that larger structure. Maybe we'll find uh, some larger fish. All right, made it to the bridge. We're going to start off by tossing around this slightly larger Rapala. It's really shallow here, shallower than I was hoping, but uh, there still could be something sitting around the pilings or uh, in the shadow line. <laughs> Look at that. Caught a little baby starfish. catching maybe there'll be something bigger sitting along the mangroves and the bridge like where they kind of meet got something else here oh my gosh another monster all right, well, what a combo. Baby starfish and a baby barracuda. <laughs> I think I've uh, seen enough of this bridge. So we're gonna head to one last spot that's across that way. And that's the canal that Elias told me to go check out. So we'll go try that and hopefully we catch fish. And I mean, even if we do or don't, then I think after that we'll start working our way back to the launch. Oh, now this looks really good back in here. This whole far side of the shoreline is covered with pilings. Hmm. I think I see a tarpon. Oh yeah, there's tarpon in here. See him cruising right there? Two of them. Oh, this, this whole side of the dock has tarpon or snook sitting right behind it i don't know through the voodoo or throw the rapala we'll try the rapala see if we can just get like a reaction bite oh and not fall off the kayak it's tarpon right there sam They're not eating though. They're being exactly how tarpon are. Super finicky. Oh, never mind. That came out of nowhere. What? On the pause. Woo! Caught him in the net. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. All right. I'm lucky I caught him because the hooks popped right out. Solid tarpon right there. Whew. All right. 
is just one last look before we uh, send her back. Such a cool fish. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try busting out the drone because I wanna see if we can use it to spot the fish before we get too close and then make a good accurate cast like right in them before we spook them and see if that helps us get another one. All right, this is crazy. I just took the drone off and I already spotted a nice fish right by this middle piling. Dang it, they keep spooking. Oh, check it out. We got this crocodile chilling on the surface. Its nose is too, definitely too pointed to be an alligator. Well, I think that is going to about do it. Uh, it's time for us to get out of here. It uh, feels like 100 degrees back in here because there's very little wind and the sun is just beating down on us. And uh, it's about two o'clock. It's going to take us a while to get back to the launch because it's about two miles. And uh, the fish in here definitely know that I'm here now. We can't buy a bite as soon as I cast. And I think before even the lure hits the water, they're darting like they see it flying over their heads. But uh, at least we snuck in here when we did and we surprised one, got a reaction bite and uh, that fish is going to make my day and make the outing. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me tangle with that tarpon uh, and may maybe you enjoyed watching me uh, catch some of the little stuff because, you know, it's all about the, the journey and uh, the adventure to get to uh, this point where we got to today. And uh, to top off all the fishing and action that we had, we also just saw that uh, American crocodile, which I've never seen one of them in the wild before. So that was so cool. And it was pretty big. It was almost like the length of the kayak. But um, anyway, let's uh, head on out of here. And I probably will stay down here for like another day or two in the Keys. I'm not really sure, but this is the end of today. So uh, definitely hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. And huge shout out to Elias for giving me the coordinates for this little body of water because there's a lot of other waters that we could have went to and that we could have fished. And uh, he gave me this particular spot, so this kind of saved the day. And we really didn't see a whole lot of good fish in and we really didn't see anything great on the way here except for our first spot. We saw some big kudos and some nice snapper. So I'm thinking uh, we're gonna just beeline it back to that area, which, cause it's close to the launch, fish around a little bit, see if we can catch some dinner, maybe uh, catch a kuda for fun and uh, then call it a day. But uh, this is the outro. So if you wanna stay tuned for any fishy action after, if I catch anything, I'll add it to the end of this video after the outro. But uh, until the next video, like always, live to fish, fish to live. Fish on. <laughs>